Hi, I'm Patu from Free Fincal. Many readers and viewers have asked us after the change in debt fund taxation whether they can invest in equity savings funds, balanced advantage funds, this fund, that fund, etc. So we'll talk about equity savings funds first and then we'll talk about balanced advantage funds in the uh, another video. Of course, you would know what I would, I'm going to say after this. So first of all, uh, I've said, this, I've said this before, I'll say it again. You cannot change an investment strategy. You cannot change the uh, build of a portfolio just because you are going to pay more tax. We have to make peace with the fact that taxation rules will keep changing and we will have to pay more tax with, with, this, with this rule. There's really no escape. And just because you want to save some tax, you can't go from... Uh, a less risky fund to a more risky fund uh, where the returns will fluctuate and uh, you may not pay any tax because you got a negative return. So uh, it makes no sense. So uh, just by that logic, you should not be investing in a, in a hybrid fund just because you got to pay more tax in a, uh, in a debt fund. So what are equity savings funds? Equity savings funds are those that are mandated to hold 65% Indian equity at all times. So they will be taxed as an equity fund. However, uh, they will hold uh, some amount of um, hedged equity, that is arbitrage opportunities as derivatives and unhedged equity or something called as uh, normal stock uh, positions or long positions or whatever you want to call it. And you can find how much is going to be the limits of the uh, unhedged uh, positions and hedged positions only in the scheme documents. They are definitely not alternatives to debt funds. For example, take a look at the uh, last three year standard deviation of these three funds. ICICI guilt fund is uh, 1%. This is the volatility in the monthly return over the last three years. So higher this value, higher will be the deviation of individual monthly returns from the average monthly return. That's how the standard deviation is defined. And the higher this value, more will be the return fluctuation. So if you look at um, Nifty, uh, it's about 5.6%. And the equity savings fund from ICICA has got a volatility about uh, less than half of that of Nifty. But it is uh, about twice that of the guilt fund. So guilt funds are among the most volatile uh, debt fund instruments because they hold typically hold long term uh, bonds. But compared to that, you can see that the equity savings funds has got a volatility twice of that. So you can see that the now is going to fluctuate significantly in a equity savings funds. And these funds can uh, give you negative returns during uh, times when there are crashes or turbulence in the markets, etc, etc. So this equity savings is an oxymoron. You shouldn't really use that. But anyway, uh, that's how it is. So let's look at how much equity they can hold. That is the unhedged equity that they can hold. And you have to look at it in the scheme documents. So ICICI fund can hold 15 to 50%. HDFC 15 to 40%. SBA 20 to 50%. Cotec 10 to 50%. So you can see all that. So maximum is 50% and uh, the minimum is uh, about 15%. So that is really not... Um, you know, you can't call that as an equity savings fund. That makes no sense, right? I mean, uh, so they are not alternatives to debt funds. So please don't make the mistake of investing in them just because you want to save tax. I'll say it again. Please make peace with taxation rules and changes in taxation rules. We have to pay more tax. You cannot uh, increase the equity exposure in an overall portfolio just because you want to pay lower tax. That makes no sense. Bye-bye.